Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. In this video, I have one more product for you that you definitely need to add to your repertoire. And that is a cauldron. Yes, this is a beautiful little cauldron. Actually, I just purchased this one. This is actually my third cauldron. I know when people think of a cauldron, they think of a witch. But child, if this makes you a witch, then having a rope make you a cowboy, okay? So, uh, I don't know about that. It's a good, safe container to burn things in. And I'm going to show you how to use it. And then in several videos to come, we're going to go over some different things you can burn. But this cauldron, uh, it's nice, heavy cast iron. I bought it from Amazon for less than $25. And so what you want to do is, now when I use my cauldron, let me, um, I also use my charcoal disc. Uh, yeah. So this is in the package. So I have one that's open. I actually have a big box because I like to burn. I have some good stuff that I like to burn. Let me get my things together here. Okay. All right, just a second here. Me and this um, one shot here. Okay. Ooh. So this is a charcoal disc. And you, what you want to do is light this. You're going to put it inside your cauldron. Just like this. And it gets really hot. Mm -hmm. And this is when um, you can, when you when it turns white, but even before it turns white, when you see it starts to spark, then you can put like your different types of resin. Like this is my frankincense and my sweet myrrh. And I have some other types of incense that I burn in it as well. But basically, and then you can use it, you can walk around, you can hold this, and you can go and you can... Uh, walk around your home and you can smudge your home now you can also put sand in the bottom and you can stick your incense in it I like to use it to burn my ancestor money it's like I said this is a really good cast iron I use it um, the cast to burn my ancestor money to smudge my house to burn incense if you want to write a petition and you want to burn it safely you can burn it in this little nice little cast iron um, container here or pot cauldron and when I use mine I like to place it un in my sink under the faucet <laughs> and I like to have some sand ready as well so just in case the fire gets out of control I can just you know put some sand in it you want to try to sand with snuff it right away water will rust your um, cauldron and another thing I like to use mine for as much as possible is I like to burn bay leaves and what I'll do is um, write like my name or who or somebody else's name if I'm trying to help them because bay leaves are really it gives brings about really really good positive energy um, it's just a good herb to have in your house to cleanse your space from negative energy so um, I, I have a a link in the description box in case you're looking to purchase one but this is something that you definitely need in your repertoire on your journey to your dreams so I have used my lighter to set the charcoal on fire and you can see it's starting to burn around the edges it usually takes a few moments before the charcoal catches on fire and you'll you'll see red sparks I tried to catch it on camera, but I wasn't able to. I always tell my ancestors, I'm not trying to, to be there with you right at this moment. So caution is everything to me. So now I am placing white copal resin on the, um, the charcoal. And the white copal is the best vibration cleanser that I've ever experienced, which I talked about in a previous video. And then I just take the little cold drum and I carry it around the house to all of the rooms. So now I am adding my 
sweet myrrh, which just smells really nice. And it's also something that raises your vibration and cleanses the air. And I'm adding my frankincense as well. With, I think frankincense is one of my all-time favorite incense oils. And I'm adding both of them on top of the the cauldron on top of the charcoal and I carry it through the house. I clean my tarot deck with it. I clean my space, um, usually after company, before company. This is ancestor money that I purchased from the Ali Myers shop. He has a YouTube here, a YouTube channel on YouTube where he has, he gives a lot of free, good information. And he has a shop and, um, I didn't even know about ancestor money. I'll tell you about the whole story another day. But what I like to do is fold it in an accordion style. And then this is my big cauldron child. And um, I, pl I have sand in the bottom. And what I like to do is just take my lighter and it burns beautifully. I mean, it's sometimes the colors are like green and purple and blue. It is the most beautiful fire I've ever seen in my life. And I always say something like this is for my ancestors known and unknown. And, for, and profound gratitude for all you do for my family. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I usually call, you know, my ancestors by name as well, the ones that I do know. And this is how I borrow my ancestor money. Upcoming videos, I'm going to show you some wonderful things to burn in this puppy. Okay. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.